Here is a poem called Over Sir John's Hill. Over Sir John's Hill, the hawk on fire hangs still. In a hoisted cloud, a drop of dusk, he pulls to his claws and gallows. Up the rays of his eyes, the small birds of the bay and the shrill child's play wars of the sparrows and such who swan sing dusk in wrangling hedges. And blithely they squawk to fiery Tyburn over the wrestle of elms until the flash of the noosed hawk crashes. And slowly the fishing, holy, stalking heron in the river Tawy below bows his tilted headstone. Flash and the plumes crack, and a black cap of jackdaw Sir John's just hill dons, and again the gold bird's hair to the hawk on fire, the halter height over Tawy's fins in a whack of wind. There, where the elegiac fisherbird stabs and paddles in the pebbly, dab-filled shallow and sedge, and dilly, dilly calls the loft hawk, come and be killed. I open the leaves of the water at a passage of suns and shadows among the pincered sand crabs prancing, and read in a shell death clear as a boy's bell. All praise of the hawk on fire in hawk-eyed dusk be sung when his viperish fuse hangs looped with flames under the brand wing. And blessed shall young green chickens of the bay and bushes cluck dilly, dilly, come let us die. We grieve as the green birds never again leave shingle and elm, the heron and I. I, young Aesop, fabling to the near night by the dingle of eels, Saint Heron hymning in the shell-hung, distant crystal harbour vale where the sea cobbles sail, and wharves of water where the walls dance and the white Cranes stilt. It is the heron and I, under judging Sir John's elmed hill, tell tale the knelled guilt of the led astray birds whom God for their breast of whistles have mercy on. God in his whirlwind save, who marks the sparrows hail for their soul song. Now the heron grieves in the weeded verge. Through windows of dusk and water, I see the tilting, whispering heron mirrored go as the snapped feathers snow, fishing in the tear of the tie. Only a hoot owl hollows, a grass blade blown in cupped hands in the looted elms, and no green cocks or hens shout now on Sir John's hill. The heron, ankling the scaly lowlands of the waves, makes all the music. And I, who hear the tune of the slow were-willow river, grave before the lunge of the night, the notes on this time-shaken stone for the sake of the souls of the slain birds sailing. Thank you very much. <laughs>